What's up everybody? Welcome back. Um, today is a kind of a scatterbrain video. I just got back from uh, Florida, had a little vacation time. As I got back, I checked the mailbox and we had a fuel filter water separator uh, for the Mazda B3000 that was in the mail. I also ordered um, some more clips um, or some uh, heat shrink, um, you know, wire connector things because I have a lot of connections that I'm going to need to be doing uh, with the lights there. Um, so today uh, is kind of a, a sporadic video. Um, I have the day off and I have tomorrow off, which is Friday. And so that leaves me with like a very long weekend to just get some crap done. Um, let's see if I can open this up here. So as you can see, um, I've got all the wiring. Uh, this is wiring for the flashers and the turn signals. Um, so my goal is to get that all connected up to the original one that came in the truck. Um, so I'm going to find a wire diagram for this and we will get that uh, going. I do have the dimmer switch already hooked up. Um, so that will that adjusts that and that everything works uh, this is the lights here um, so it's these three wires here running the lights which i will probably make a panel a uh, panel control panel and kind of have like my headlights and lights on that panel I still want to use the flasher and the blinkers up here, uh, but that's it. And then I'll have, you know, a uh, switch for the, oh, there's a, <laughs> I lost the screw the other day. It's to one of the tail lights here. Anyways, um, I want to have that all done. Um, you know, and wipers will be on that instrument panel as well. Uh, just kind of ease, ease things up. Um, I've got plenty of space in the dash, as you can see, to kind of custom make some panels uh, that I want to do. So that's the plan. I don't know if you guys have seen this truck since I put the bed back on. Um, I've got the bed on. Uh, and I've also uh, got the hood back on and the front clip. Uh, you can see the intercooler chilling back there. Um, and so what's left for this video? <laughs> I kind of made some wrong dimensions uh, cutting wise on the hood. So I think what I'm going to end up doing is putting some kind of trim around here um, that hopefully uh, will cover up all those jagged cuts. Um, still not sure what I'm gonna do there, but that is the whoa. Oh. And I left my lid open on the coffee, and that's what happens when you do that. Here's some hawks somewhere over there. Oh, there they are. Two hawks. Cool little story. I had a nest of baby. <laughs> I had a nest of baby hawks actually uh, over in my yard. Um, so let me get this hood actually popped. And we'll go from there. Okay. 
All right, so this is kind of the situation we have here as a temporary kind of fix. Uh, I don't, I didn't have any intercooler piping, so I used PVC. And yes, that is janky, ghetto, like super sketch. Um, and to be honest, I'm really not even sure uh, if it's building boost or not. Um, also, trying to, in the process of trying to find boost leaks, I put a smoke bomb off uh, inside here. And uh, yeah, not sure if that worked or not. Didn't see any, you know, smoke coming out from around everything, but we're looking like we have a major, major crack. If you look right here, <laughs> you can see that that is just cracked big time right there. So we're gonna have to fix that before too long. Because there is so much little annoying things that need to be done to this truck. I'm gonna try to make like a checklist. Um, I'm gonna try to make a checklist because I wanna start somewhere and when, when you have a project like this where it's just one thing after the next, super easy to like get working on a ton of things. So I'm gonna make a checklist. I really need to start probably with this turbo um, and then the turbo bracket. As you can see back here, I moved the bracket. Um, I moved the whole turbo forward. So I need to, you know, get a bracket. I think that's why that uh, turbo broke in the first place but I need to do that and I need to install my fuel filter over there um, so yeah that's just kind of where we're gonna start probably get a piece of paper make a checklist and just start checking it off uh, I also have something super exciting for the B3000 um, which is a new set of wheels that I um, am supposed to be picking up today, purchasing. So um, I got them for a steal of a deal. They are 20 by 10s. Um, so they're the same size around as on my truck, but these are 20 by 14s. And the ones that will be going on this truck are 20 by 10s. And they still have a, you know, a good, a good little lift there. So they should give it the stanced out look that I'm going for. And also, they are the same, same exact rim as that. So they are the same exact rim and I plan on powder coating them the exact same, and I think that'll look good. Obviously, I'm gonna be running probably um, a street tire on this truck. Uh, since it's not four wheel drive, there is no need to have aggressive look. I'm going more for like a street, um, you know, more like a drag look. I'm gonna take all this off now. Once I get the turbo off, we'll go ahead and fire up the welder and get that all taken care of. And then also put the bracket uh, back in place where it goes. <laughs>
So here's a better view of the crack. And my awful welds that obviously weren't gonna hold up to any abuse at all. I'm gonna clean this up a bit over here. Uh, probably take a wire brush and wire it all and then go ahead and weld that puppy back on around there. So we've got the uh, welds up right here, um, the spot that was weak, plenty, plenty of weld all over there. Um, I'm just going to clean it up a little bit more and then spray the high, tea, uh, high temp paint on, keep it from rusting, uh, and then we'll move on to another part. So. Uh, on this uh, charge pipe, um, I had some rust because I had to re-weld uh, this fitting here because I had to change the angle um, so it would sit level when you had the hood shut um, and like one end was sticking up higher than the other. So I had to change the level of that. So but I had already powder coated it. So what I ended up doing is just spray painting it silver um, and we'll roll with it like that for now. Um, <laughs> I made this flange, but I have a gasket so it works out pretty good. But uh, anyways, uh, I'm gonna probably put one more coat of silver on there once that dries a little more. Um, over here on the up pipe, um, the part that uh, was re-welded was right here. Um, so that should be good. Um, painted that up so it will help with rusting as well. As, so I actually took that piece Put it in the vise, did a little more twisting, and now you can see uh, it slides on, and we're just about, I don't know, half an inch off maybe. So I need to bang this part this way. So I actually got the bracket on there. Um, let me pop this. Hopefully tighten that down. Perfect. 
perfect. All right, so I'm gonna crank those uh, bolts down there. Uh, that will give this um, up pipe a little more stability uh, from, you know, vibrations and stuff like that. And now it's time to bolt the turbo back down. And once I get that done, then we can figure out what we want to do for the downpipe. All right, so after everything, we got a temporary exhaust here. I welded up real quick, just dumps out the wheel well uh, down there. Um, and hooked everything back up. So now it is time to go ahead and see if this thing will start. Um, it has been sitting, so the battery might be dead. Well, looks like it uh, has juice. Those are wired up. Um, same, uh, where is it? Over here, it's also wired in. Um, I just need to run now, and I will be running to the auto parts store to pick up uh, some light bulbs and stuff like that. Today, I didn't get around to putting this uh, hook in the fuel filter in I will probably be doing that tomorrow all right guys uh, it's back it's the next day uh, a buddy I know was selling these 20 by 10 wheels here uh, I picked all four of them up for $150 um, so this is what is going to be going on uh, the B3000. Also, I picked up a boost gauge. Uh, it was 15 bucks off of Facebook Marketplace. Um, so the idea with all this is um, these will go on that. Um, I'm not exactly sure how it's going to look with 20 inch wheels. However, um, yeah, I'm just not sure at this point. So it's gonna have a street tire on it and we'll see. I mean, I like, I like the fact, you know, that it's got a lip. I originally was wanting 20 by 12, uh, but for 150 bucks, I really can't argue with uh, getting these 20 by 10s. Um, and they just so happen to be the same uh, kind as I have on my truck here. So I think they're like the fuel uh, hostages um, is the color. But they're not perfect as you can see, like super corroded. They need to be cleaned up. I'm still corn as to whether I'm gonna powder coat them or if I'm just going to paint them or put them on for now and then paint them later. Um, I think I might do some kind of like just plasti dip them black or something uh, just to get them covered. Uh, so I can 
put them on the truck and you know have some fun they are have you as you noticed here an eight lug pattern they are eight by 170 which is the same as my truck here so i'm going to be getting two inch uh, wheel adapters i'm going to hook up this boost gauge though i want to see how much boost i'm actually making if any please like uh, and subscribe if you want to um, anyways I'm out